have what's called sargassum or Japanese weed and we can see it floating in this pool here, in this rock pool and we're on the mid shore but it can be found pretty much anywhere. It's very invasive. I'm just feeling this one to see is it attached and yes it is attached. Um, we can look at the colour of it. It's sort of a, a yellowy brown but it can be more of a greenish brown as well. And what's characteristic about it? Well we can see those little air bladders, just lots of tiny air bladders and these are much more prominent uh, in the summer time. Uh, as I said it is invasive. It uh, takes over very quickly because it can actually reproduce both um, normally or sexually and it also can actually just break off in fragments and actually uh, reproduce that way. So yes, very invasive, chokes off other native uh, seaweeds, takes over very quickly because of the rate at which, which it actually reproduces. So there have been attempts to eradicate it just by pulling it out. So this would be the only seaweed that you would actually pull out. Uh, you don't, you wouldn't cut it, bother cutting it with the scissors. People enjoy it and uh, eat it. They put it into salads. Uh, I find it a little bit acidic myself, uh, so it's not one of my favourites. Uh, but it, but it is obviously one of the of the edible seaweeds. So we have a, a close up there of these tiny little air bladders. on this marine algae and we can see that the bladders are of just varying sizes very small, small to sort of medium sized and they allow it to uh, float along and uh, drift along uh, and just get from place to place very quickly so that's the, the Japanese uh, weed or sargassum